What's up everyone? It's Lens Addict here and today I've got with me the M2 MacBook Pro. Uh, this one's basically the base model. It's a 16 inch and we got the one terabyte but SSD. So that's all that's been upgraded, just the SSD. Everything else is the base. And we're gonna unbox this thing. We're gonna have a look at it all and review it. So let's get started with the unboxing part and then we'll have a look at the actual laptop. Here is the box. It looks like Apple has stuck something over the top of this. And let's have a look what's actually underneath this. It looks like something is underneath and I'm very curious what it is. Interesting. Um, nah, whatever's underneath is just like a little label. They haven't stuck this over the top of it in box or something like that. So it's not as exciting as I thought, but you can see writing here that they've written over the top of. Very interesting. Anyway, let's open this up. So we've got new paper pull tabs now. The old ones were um, like plastic. All right, so we got the, the box open, got the lid off. Here's the Mac. Let's get it out of here. Here we go. It's a silver one. Oh, smells like a new MacBook Pro, that's for sure. Smells good. Looks the same as the old one, really. Uh, let's open up. Got our little paper thingy inside the screen. Look at that. It's no scratches. The screen is clean. Let's see what else we got in the box while we wait. We got a MagSafe charge cable. So because I got the silver one, I get a silver charge cable. But if you get a black one now, you get a black um, MagSafe connector, which is cool because the last M1 Mac, you didn't get that. You just got a silver one. Uh, so we've also got the 140 watt USB-C power adapter, same as the last year. Um, some instruction guides. Nothing much has changed. It's cool the guides are color matched to the MacBook Pro. Um, some Apple stickers. Other than that, that's it. Let's have a look at this laptop. So we're running the benchmark now. Let's see what result we get. Here's a quick look at the uh, benchmark results. So we've got the new one here and the old one. So for single core, it's about 10% faster, the new one. And for multi-core, it's about 20% faster. And we got similar caching, stuff like that. Uh, but just keep in mind that the M1 had double the RAM, which may affect the results a little bit. HDR is a big difference, where the um, new MacBook Pro is much faster. And in multi-core, um, yeah, it's even bigger gap. Like HDR is a little bit bigger. Machine learning, pretty cool to see. Next up, we have our GPU. So the new MacBook Pro M2 is all about 22, 21% faster in GPU. Um, but other than that, it looks quite similar. Um, it's just some more of the results here. Pretty cool to see. Here is a storage speed test. So this is the M1. This is M2. Let's have a look. M1's getting some more write speed. The M2 is going real fast. Look at that write speed. Very impressive. Yeah, so it looks like the M1 is slower here. Um, M2 is getting much faster results. Another thing I'm noticing is that the color temperatures between these two displays are different. Not significantly different, but this one is warmer. Um, 
but they both look pretty similar and pretty good. Now we'll do a little speaker test. So we'll start out on the M2. This is at half volume. Now this is the M1. Now we're gonna try it on max volume on the M2. Here's a look at the webcam across the two devices. So I think the M2 is better. This is the M1. And then we'll look at the M2. It looks like the M2 is doing more like sharpening on the image, uh, whereas the M1 does less. If you look at the hair, you can tell more of a difference. I hope you all really enjoyed this unboxing and quick look at the M2 MacBook Pro 16 inch. Uh, if you don't have a M1, this is a great laptop, but if you have an M1 MacBook Pro, then this is not worth upgrading. It's a spec bump. It is faster, but by 10, 20%, but the prices are up 10 to 20%. So, you know, you don't get the same, you don't get increased performance at the same price. This model costs more than last year's. So I don't think it's worth paying more, but other than that, it's a good laptop. The HDMI port now supports high resolutions. So does the laptop. You get new Wi-Fi standards, the six gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is faster and less congested network band. Uh, you get slightly better webcam. Speakers don't sound the same to me. You get better battery life, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, honestly, side by side, they're not that noticeable, all these little incremental changes. Whereas going from Intel to Apple Silicon was. So, um, you know, if you want to get the latest and greatest, this is great. But if you already have an Apple Silicon device, don't don't upgrade it. It's not worth it. Anyway, um, you guys chuck some comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, and I'll, I'd love to hear your thoughts and any questions you might have on this device. I'd be very keen to answer it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment and um, subscribe if you want to see more. Like the video if you liked it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Lens Addict is out for the day.